Hey everybody, it's Mark Tandon here with the I Am Rubbles, and today we're doing a uh, wrap up the third series in uh, our series of posts on reverse engineered product creation. And you should be wondering why the heck we're on the Yellowtail Wines website. Well, one, it's kind of flashy. I mean, it's it's really pretty, all sorts of moving parts. But the reality is, this was sort of the inspiration for this entire case study. Um, although it's in a completely different market, completely different niche, Yellowtail, um, for those of you who haven't heard of it, is a highly, massively successful wine, and it was actually created in a boardroom. It was started by marketers, okay? So basically what they did is they reverse engineered everything. They didn't go make a product first. Instead, they studied the market first, found out what it wanted, how it wanted to be sold to, and then it went ahead and made a product, and the results were an absolute smashing success. Um, so I decided for fun, you know, having released a few products in the past, that I would try it this way. Instead of creating a product first, I would go out, research the market, find out exactly what it was they were looking for, um, then come up with a marketing plan so I could market it in a way that appealed to the people that needed this particular solution. Um, and then go ahead and make the product based on all of that. Okay, so there's a couple caveats here and there which we'll discuss, but let's let's start with the research. Okay, so the research, I mean, we headed over to the trusty Warrior Forum where you know online marketers are hanging out, and right in the main uh, discussion, main internet marketing discussion forum, spent a lot of time on here finding out what people were looking for, how to make money when you have no money to invest. Um, best traffic, how to start with affiliate marketing, why are the top reasons people fail with internet marketing, all of this went through you know a couple solid days of research to find out what it was that was a sort of common common issue and a lot of it a lot of it boiled down to I need to start with I, I can't take any risks um, I need to make money consistently um, you know, I don't have any skills, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, you know, we did. I'm just glossing over it, but I did a fair bit of homework on this. Okay, and I found that some of the common themes came down to: I don't want to take risks. I don't want to have to make a big investment. But yes, I do need to make money, and I see people doing it. How can I get started? Okay. Now, the only so so now I know what the market wants. Okay, this is this is where I started, and I thought, okay. Um, let's come up with a marketing plan these people they want real results they don't want overhyped stuff they don't want flash in a pan here today gone tomorrow they're looking for an evergreen solution that's going to work today tomorrow and five years from now so you know this this formulated the plan for for the marketing package um, and and that was really important. It was a tough one because, you know, to sell anything, you kind of need, you, you think you might need to be a little bit flashy, but you don't necessarily have to be. So that was, that was a, a, a theme throughout the marketing of this product was we were going to be just true to the word, true to the sales letter, no overhyped claims, just 100% straight to the facts. Um, so that was a bit more challenging, but really, really worthwhile. So that was that was the fundamental, the foundation, I should say, really, of the marketing plan. Um, from there, it became about product creation. Now, here's the main caveat: is unlike uh, Yellowtail, who already knows how to make wine, um, I had to go out and create a product that that had real results that I was personally using, that I knew how to do. Okay, that also satisfied this need. Um, so. That's where that's where I tweaked the plan just a tiny little bit. Is I didn't want to just make something up. That's not our style. Um, not not the rebel style. We're only ever going to teach what we know how to do. So, for the past several months, I've been uh, earning my on online income by providing services to other internet marketers, even some offline clients, and it's paid very well. So I basically thought, well, hey, what's going on here? I didn't have to risk anything. It didn't cost me anything to get started. I get paid up front. This is kind of the ideal product to solve this need for people, right? They need money. They don't have anything to invest, etc., etc. So this is this is basically it became easy to write when I actually went back and reverse engineered how I got started and how I built up my client base and how I got paid, how I found the clients, etc. So that's what we did. Um, now. 
let's talk a little bit more about the marketing plan. We've done the research, we talked a little bit about the marketing plan, let's show you the sales page we made. Now we had to make it pretty, um, but we certainly didn't want to go uh, overhyped. So right off the top, very first line, this is not a shiny method promising instant overnight riches. That might have crushed our conversions um, because a lot of people looking at these products want exactly that. But that's that's was our theme. We didn't want to be overly flashy. Yes, the headline looks big and bold because it should be, but those are very realistic hourly numbers for the, for the product. Now, this is in no way a pitch. That's completely not our style. This is 100% educational, okay? Uh, if we were going to pitch you this product, we would find way better ways to do it than me talking to you or on an, on an over-the-shoulder screenshot video. So just no worries. There's no pitch here. This is just the sales page just showing you the marketing plan. Okay, so again, yes, we have a little bit of intro, but um, not everyone's willing to risk their time and money for a possible payday. Uh, you can do this without skills or experience, needing to sell a product, etc. Um, you already have at least a few skills that you aren't aware of that can be making great cash today. And that's exactly how I started. I didn't realize that just by playing around online, I picked up some skills that people would actually pay for. Okay, so here we go with the big introduction. Um, there will be no false hype or inflated promises on this page, just the facts. Once again, just sticking to our word, okay? This is just, this is reality. If you're interested, you're interested, and if you're not, you're not. Um, and yes, it's a sales page, so there has to be a bit of a story. Um, some real screenshots of, of legitimate um, monthly and payments that I've received using this exact method. So people could see, hey, there's the social proof, which is kind of important. Um, exactly what it is we're doing, you know, where we're, where we're finding a market of people that are looking to, to pay us, which is the sort of basis of this entire system. Uh, we'll just keep scrolling down a little bit just so you get a look at the, the page. Um, crazy name, funny little title. You know, I'm a bit of a humorist, as some of you may have realized, so obviously we wanted to give this a little fun spin. Um, but inside the product is pretty darn serious, okay? So here's the breakdown of what's inside. Great. All these modules of information. The testimonials, which definitely help for conversions, but it's also nice to have, like, legitimate... Uh, marketers, you know, going through the product and giving you uh, giving you some great um, feedback. Like this is a 100% ethical in-demand business model that you can easily jump into. That's kind of nice to hear, and it certainly helps. So this is basically the sales page. All right. Again, yes, it's pretty. It needs to be, but it's certainly not flashy, and there's no overhype. I mean, I just can't emphasize the very top line. Sorry for the quick scrolling. Um, this is basically sums up our marketing plan. This is not a shiny method promising instant overnight riches, okay? That was the marketing plan completely. So now we get the marketing plan in place, all right? Of course, there's more to it. There's things like uh, affiliate recruitment and whatnot. I didn't really put a huge push on this. Um, we just uh, we contacted a few of, uh, a few of our, our best colleagues, gave them, gave them review copies, and again, the marketing plan there was again not a push. It was every single message I sent to anybody was here's some information only if you're interested, only if it's a fit for your audience. There's 100% zero pressure um, and you wouldn't believe the result. I mean so that marketing plan was a theme in every in every in every phase okay from the sales copy to how we approached uh, you know potential affiliates to how we dealt with our clients, just straight up front, all the way through. Um, and that really, really worked. Anyway, um, so then of course it came down to making the product. So we'll just pull that up really quickly. Might have gone a little bit overboard on over delivery here. Um, you know, you see a lot of products that come out there that are, you know, 10, 15 page reports. Um, this one, well, let's see, this one's about 86 pages. Um, it's in size 12 font, not size 20, to make it look all huge and everything, plus about five training videos. So we really wanted to over-deliver on the value. Um, you know, again, even the product, 
same as the sales uh, copy and the marketing plan, not flashy. Like this could be totally made a lot prettier and flashier, but that wasn't the point, okay? So, you know, here's one module and we just get through it. Um, pictures for visual relief but also to show people what's going on but that's that's what the product itself looked like okay it looks like because it's ongoing now that's great mark how did you do right i mean you've talked about reverse engineering you've, you've talked about the marketing the research the marketing plan creating the product what actually happened when you put it out there great question um let's just show you uh how it's doing so we came out today is uh, Sunday as I'm recording this video July 18th and the product was released on Thursday morning July 16th okay so Thursday morning came out at 10 a.m. Eastern um, had a very strong day the first day it was number one on um, the top products listing of the day um, virtually all day long um, the second day it was also on the Friday it was also the number one um, on the top products of the day for the entire day and that day it was that late that night it was awarded uh, the deal of the day from Warrior Plus so it got uh, WSO of the day that's the little banner ad for it right there so uh, the team at Warrior Plus decided hey this thing's doing great and we really like what we see so we got the nice prize which is kind of exciting you know that always always um, helps you out um, anyway so everything seemed to be working, um, and because we're, we don't want to hold anything back from you, we'll show you exactly what's going on. This is kind of, you know, inside my dashboard, but just so you can see, yeah, those are some numbers. Let's just get rid of those. But day one, uh, 491 units sold. Day two, 148 units sold. And today, as I'm recording this, we're at 100 sales. So if you look at that, that's say 500, 650. We're approaching 750 sales. Um, and over ten thousand dollars in in revenues a lot of that obviously paid to affiliates but that makes a lot of people very happy so this was basically the result of thanks very much yellowtail uh... and turning a, a crazily successful business model and translating that into the internet marketing space and into product creation which is something we firmly believe in as i am rebels uh... but this time i just want to try out something different and see how it would translate and by all accounts I mean for me this is uh, this has been a very successful launch you know over 700 units sold uh, a ton of happy people lots of feedback I've been uh, if I sound a little tired it's because I certainly am it's been a very hectic three days uh, a lot of time interacting with new clients that have had some great questions looking for a bit of support um, but the takeaway from this is Understand the market first, understand the need first. You can create the greatest product in the world, but if there isn't a burning demand for it out there, you're gonna have a really tough time selling it. And I see this happen so many times. It's it's just it's devastating for some people. It it kicks them right out of the business because they put their blood, sweat, and tears into creating what they believe is a fantastic product, and it is, but they haven't started by at least determining what the market wants. So Determine the need first is the takeaway from this, uh, and you'll tend to do a lot better with your product launches. So, just shared everything with you there, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you got some great takeaways from this, and uh, looking forward to our next case study, whatever that may be, but you know it's going to be a fun one. So, have yourselves an amazing day. Thanks for following along with the story, and get in touch uh, on the blog at any point with comments. Visit us on our Facebook page if you want to reach out. Your comments are always welcome.